Start by placing the bat at the top of the stud bay flush with any header and then tuck it in so that it's flush with the studs. You don't want to smush it down because that will ruin the R value and so as you can see here it's flush with the studs and that helps maintain its efficiency. More often than not you're going to have to cut the bottom bat to size. So get your measurement from the bottom of the top bat to the top of the, uh, the bottom base plate. Get that measurement and then you can cut your bat using either a drywall knife or a standard bread knife because it is kind of like cutting through a loaf of bread. But you want to make that bottom bat one half to one inch longer than the measurement that you got. And you do that because you want the bat to fit tight to the bottom plate and then to the bottom of the top bat. As you can see here, the fit is pretty tight. There are no gaps in between the bats and the top and the bottom of the stud bay. Now, if you have an irregular sized bay, so in this case, I have one that measures about 10 inches, what you want to do is add one half to one inch to the width of the rock saw piece that you're going to cut the size. So my stud bay was about 10 inches wide. So I cut the rock saw at 11 inches. And again, it's like cutting through a loaf of bread. All you need to do now is tuck in that piece of rock saw and that extra half inch to inch distance gives it a really nice tight fit and improves the energy efficiency.